Dickinson Trinity football is capping off a historic regular season. The Titans still have so much more to play for, including a chance at a state championship appearance for the first time in 16 years. Our Luke Gamble has a story. The Dickinson Trinity Titans have been rolling through 2022, getting seven straight wins to start the season, something that hasn't been done since 2009. But it's their three-point loss to Beulah in the region title game that's teaching them the most about this team. I think that it might actually be better us to prove that we are where we are able to lose, and uh, it just uh, reminded us that we need to come, uh, come and work hard every day at practice. Defensively, the Titans are giving up nearly 25 points per game, something that is making them step back and reassess where there might be room for improvement, whether that's through different schemes or by playing a bigger game. Maybe uh, there's some size advantages and stuff that we get by moving some different guys around and just tr trying to find those pieces on the chessboard, where you're going to put them in, and where are we going to be the most successful uh, with those guys at, uh, on the team. For the players, it's about getting back to the basics of alignment and assignment football. I think we need to learn our responsibilities. Every player has a specific gap that they need to be in, so we just need to uh, do some study and figure out where everyone needs to be and uh, just learn our responsibilities a little bit better. You know, guys like Ty Dossinger and, and, and uh, Jeremiah Jillick, uh, Cole Cadamus, what can we do to, do to disguise those blitzes and, and, and make it look like they're coming um, or make it look like they're not coming and then send them. And, and that's something that we need to improve on, and I think that's something we're going to be working on in the coming weeks. While the Titans hope to improve on defense, they are confident their offense can keep up with anyone after averaging 47 points per game during the regular season. But at the end of the day, they know the next game is never guaranteed. You know, once you get to playoff time, it, it, that's bonus game territory where uh, you're either earning that next game or you're, you're uh, turning the pads in. Reporting for KX Sports, I'm Luke Campbell. Titans host Ray Powers Lake on the first round on Saturday.